welcome to Tarot Tats and Tea. We're very lucky today. We've got another beautiful summer's day. So I just thought I'd be very quick. Come on and do a very quick, um, uh, well, not even a walkthrough, just to show you this deck that's arrived. It's the Retina Wake Smith. Okay, it's a two two part box, nice and solid, and it's by Dexterny. Okay, now a few extra cards come and you get a certificate. I've got 945 of 1000. Get a little certificate with it. Um, you get a, a couple of cards that show you Arthur Waite and Pamela Coleman Smith. You get a sample of the cardstock and you get two other cards. It's got the matte pattern on the front and the holographic one on the back. These I'll use as bookmarks. These I'm more likely to go and stick into a tarot journal, but not glue them in, slide them into a pocket that I'll make specifically for them. The deck's clarity is quite amazing. Let's look at some other features first. Again, the backs are holographic. Um, the gilding is nice and shiny, but it's got that sort of glitter um, effect. If you can see, there you go, you can see the different colours in it as it shines in the light. Um, it's the the um, imagery that, that are, are on the card that's so crystal clear, and you can see expressions on the faces of the characters and it's borderless which I do like as many people will know and here we go this is one of the earlier decks and um, this was in 2018 this is my workhorse my deck by James Rickliffe if you look at the, the fool here this was a great um, clear up and, and making that the, the, the deck far clearer to see and we can see the comparison now to even in just what 18 into in five years how how it's um can be cleaned up even more but um it's beautiful this is this this like i say will just go with me everywhere um i'm just going to go through a couple of cards i'm not going to keep it here all day it's going to be very quick so i've started my day off today with a lovely meditation and um Shortly, I'm going to go out into my garden, see it, water the plants in my greenhouse and get on with my day. Look how beautiful that is. Now, if we look at this lover's card, I just want to have a look at something here for a second. These are just cards that I want you to have a look at. Um, not so much in the comparison, but just seeing how the different artists have, have um, addressed colour, line, etc. So we have the lovers and we have the symbol of Gemini down there. And um, let's have a look. I have to say, albeit this image does look bigger because of the lack of borders, I and um, we can see the difference in the fruit on the trees here. The, the, the fruit's more clear, they're hidden in the trees here. I do like the deeper colour of the purple on this one. This is still nice, but I just like the... the the detail in the wings here, um, it, they, they've sort of, I don't know, taken away some of the colour here. That's very fiery looking. You know, they're still beautiful. Both are, are beautiful in their own right. And yet I just, I, I love that colouring. Um, let's have a look at another card here. Uh, there's our chariot in this one. Strength. I like the moodiness of the hermit. The one I want to look at here is the Empress. If we look at the Empress in the in the retina, yes, it is clear, it's beautiful, it's absolutely stunning, but I do love the sky in the James Rickliffe. I love the colour of the sky. You know, it's it's all stunningly beautiful. You cannot say one is better than the other, but I just like that colouring there. And um, it's sort of gives it a little bit more depth, whereas this remains sort of 2D. You've got a sort of 3D effect with the sky in the background. So albeit this is a stunning deck, and I do absolutely think it's beautiful, there are aspects to other decks that I would like to have seen incorporated in this, but there again, that is James Rickliffe's um, trademark, really, so I don't suppose they could have done that in this. 
So really, this is a, a, um, a remarkable deck. Look at that devil card. You know, look at the detail on that now. Look at his face. Um, look at the tower. Then we get to our star card. And here, that's the James Rickliffe star card. This is the new one. Yes. Doesn't the card actually looks bigger? Is it bigger? Nope. Nope. They're the same size. Okay. But because the again the borders have been removed, it gives the image of the actual card being physically bigger. I like the dark skies on this because our stars are out at night. I like the colourful stars. It sort of looks like you're sort of balancing your chakras as well as as well as there's all this balance and everything's flowing nicely. And yet there's more clarity in this. They're both they're both stunning decks. They both really are. But you'll all know from many, many times when I've spoken about my love of, of this deck. You know, it, I, I, you do get different things from different decks. I, I, well, I do, I do. I, you know, just the feel, the energy, the, the depth of colour, you know. So let me see if we get to a court. There you go. I like the um, salamanders on the... Um, Knight of Wands. We fire salamanders, aren't we? You know, they're very clear. And that's what I do find with this deck. Even the small um, detail on the on the card is exceptionally clear. Um, let me just find our Knight of Wands in the Redcliffe. We'll do a comparison. Yep, you can still see the, the salamanders, but if we look at the clarity, the clarity is sharper, okay? And the expression on the face, the eyes, even on the horse. Absolutely gorgeous decks. You couldn't really say, say I prefer that one to that one because both of them have their different um, sort of beauty okay um it's nice to see that um the art of pamela coleman smith is still appreciated um it's not improved upon in the sense of it's been changed and morphed hugely but sharpened made crisper and you know easier to see with this particular deck, I like the fact it's got symbols on, both planetary and, and astrological, and it's got the elements on it as well. So, um, am I going to use this deck as regularly as I use this one? Well, no, because the James Rickliffe one is my workhorse. This deck I will use and interchange when I'm reading for clients. Let's see what it's like to shuffle. Um, do I use my James Rickliffe to read for clients? I do sometimes, but I predominantly use it for me and for travelling. And I have actually been asked whilst um, either on the ferry and also on the beach when I've had my that my workhorse deck out um, to perform readings for other people. Just, ooh, are those tarot cards? Yes. <laughs> and, you know, it's still amazing how many people that you find are still wary of tarot. But, uh, sure. Let's have a look, see. Shuffle. Nice to shuffle. And yep, there you go. So this is the Retina Weight Smith Tarot and it's created by Dextiny. Um, do I like it? Yes, I do. I, I more than like it, I love it. Um, do I love it as much as my James Rickliffe? My James Rickliffe might be that little bit plainer, well, might not have the glitz and the glam. Um, but like I say, I've bonded so well with this deck that um, I don't know if, you know, and, you know, some people say, well, what's so special about it? What is special about it for me is it is the first um, RWS deck that I, I purchased um, that had been in any way enhanced you know for clarity or have you can see now it is worn it it is getting grubby looking you know it's um i have them um, because the sides the, the sides were gray and, and get and, and old looking i have sort of highlighted the edges of them 
um, just to take that grubbiness off them. But there again, it's well used, well worn deck. I have the CS Tarot as well, which again is where it's been enhanced again. And something I really noticed on that particular deck, it was in the Knight of Swords, I think it was. And uh, it was quite, I, I actually showed it then. So I don't know if anybody else could see it. I know I could. You'll probably see it clearer on the larger decks. Yeah. I can still see it as plain as day. <laughs> now, you know, in the CS Tarot, they, they've got crackles in the, you know, there's the crackle back, but we've got that crackle look in the paintwork behind. And the way these crackles work, you can almost see the outline of a knight holding his sword like that. So we have this arm here, but if we look behind, there's the face with the beard, so the head is down like that. Uh, I know people might be going, what sort of drugs are you on, Elaine? Because whatever they are, I want some. <laughs> I've been able to see that in all these since the day I got them. And um, I just I just think it's amazing. And it's funny how certain things can stand out and, and you can't unsee them from there on in. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's, that's one of the... Uh, <laughs> things uh, that I, I like about that deck as well it's um it's beautiful um and just one that I tried to mod many years ago when people were first edging decks I made a complete pig's ear of it so um this is used now for um art projects and things uh, will I modify decks again I purchased this one this was just a, 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 a a cheap deck that I came across on um, Amazon that I thought oh, I'll practice modifying things you know that now this was going pretty well because I wanted all different colors sides now it was going pretty well until in fact I think the card has been used it's not in here now I was busy cutting them up and I went and cut the name off one of them across here and I thought oh god what am I going to do how am I going to fix this <laughs> so I had a deck that had some cards missing. I got the same deck. I glued this on. It was like a double thick deck, a card. And I thought, I think, Elaine, it's time you gave up any form of deck modification because you're just not very good at it. <laughs> so, folks, that's me just showing you some... Oops, I left half the blooming deck out. That's me just sharing with you some of my... Um, my little quirks about other decks have been um, enhanced and uh, the RWS, uh, the, the Retton WH Smith, the uh, WH Smith <laughs> for my American uh, friends here, WH Smith is a stationery shop over in Wales and England. <laughs> for my Wait Smith Tarot, Retina Wait Smith Tarot gets a big thumbs up from me. I do love it. I think it's great. Um, but as my workhorse, it's going to be my, my faithful, old faithful. So, people, thank you for watching. Sorry for the, the bit of a mess there. <laughs> but uh, in the meantime, I will get on with my day and uh, I'll be going live tonight with a special guest, Brian Cormac Carr, at 7 o'clock UK time. Um, what do we call it here? I have gone, I've gone absolutely blank. Grinch meantime. Do you know, age doesn't come alone, does it? Honest to goodness. Anyway, 7 p.m. Greenwich meantime, I will be going live with Brian Cormac Carr and it'd be wonderful if you could, if you could join us. So take care, have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>